MC is immediately going to drop that uh, ground weapons plus one on the forge and go for blink as well. Uh, so he's going to cease production out of the Stargate, which is a pretty wise move here as we do have another queen getting picked off and the Phoenixes are really doing a phenomenal job. We have to have another queen made now. Of course, Idra with the Hydras out on the field has to put a lot more concentration on spreading the creep. Yes, he's going to do that anyway, uh, but even more so with the Hydras out. And there are a few loose overlords out here that will get sniped out by those Phoenixes as a fourth goes down here for Idra and MC trying to claim his third. And we see Ventral Sacks going down for Idra. Looks like he's gearing up to do a little bit of harassment or perhaps even a big counter drop in the main. Hydra's very, very weak in terms of direct pushes unless you have very nice timing, but are quite strong when you incorporate them into those drops. And uh-oh, a couple of sneaky roaches going to have to run back home, do get spotted. Meanwhile, in the main, we see Observers popping out. Robotics Bay going down. There is that Chrono Boost going down, down on that upgrade. And with this Twilight Council having already researched Blink, these Stalkers are going to be quite potent. And you can start that plus two upgrade quickly. So it looks like MC doesn't have an uh, intention of doing that much aggression for a little while. As we see Idra still up at 172 food. Remarkable macro by Idra. Yeah, the Robotics Bay went down as well. So the class production uh, has begun. A Roach will get taken out here at the tower. And it looks like Idra might be moving out. We can see that he's trying Trying to time this with his ventral sacks. We see a uh -oh, lot of uh -oh. overlords heading over. And the observer's going to catch it all there. He's getting a great little glimpse at what is going on. Andrew's going to kind of play it off. Oh, I was just checking the tower. But I think that MC's going to have a very good idea what could possibly be coming his way. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And he sees it. He sees absolutely everything. And here come the stalkers going to blink forward. Oh, losing some of those main overlords. Oh. Going to try to unload everything but getting sniped, and look at the force fields by OGSMC locking everything into this beautiful matrix. Look at how many units are squashed into that little corner, and oh my goodness, units getting absolutely murdered. OGSMC with incredible army positioning, but Idra with the huge numbers still might break through. He's really trying. The Hydras are forward, though, and there is one Colossus out. It does not have extended thermal lance yet, and it does look like Indra, despite failing on the drop, is going to stop or at least not uh, take out a large portion of MC's army. That one Colossus did go down, but I'll tell you what, if the... Oh, my gosh, he's loading back up. He's going to go with this drop. It wow. did not work the first time, Day, so make it work the second. So now it looks like we're seeing Idra drop into the main. There's not that many units out right now for OGS MC. And at the same time, oh. a second drop going down to the south base. Has to be careful. Oh, does manage to stay alive in the meantime. A huge battle going on in the main. MC loses the Colossus. And Zealots and Stalkers trying to do damage. But the Hydra's target firing this Nexus as well. Idra playing Zerg the way Zerg is meant to be played. And absolutely incredible defense in the main by MC, but it wasn't enough. The Nexus falls. Yes, at the third, we also had another drop come in, and Hydras are doing some damage here. Some Stalkers do come in. Meanwhile, the drops are continuing over here from Idra. He is trying to assault from multiple locations just to the west of MC's base and also from the north. Void Ray does manage to take out some more overlords here, but he is uh, doing perfectly fine on the supply. Finally, the Hydras here at the third are taken out, but with this fourth base up, I'd say that Idra's in a pretty good economic state. We do see plus two is done right now for OGS MC, so that will allow him to be a little bit more aggressive. But does he want to be that aggressive? We see MC continuing to push back, feeling very confident with this small number of units, has even more stalkers. Did Idra overcommit to that attack? We, that is what he is worried about at this point in time. Idra making some drones, but largely focusing on Roach and Corrupter numbers. MC now having pretty intimidating force, no sentries whatsoever, but great blink micro. Now advancing with a huge counter push. Yeah, the Blink Micro is really, really very effective there. And there was only a few Corruptors out on the map. He's starting to get those numbers up as well. While the Colossus count continues to increase for MC, currently at two. Observers scattered all around. And, uh, you know, really without the, the Hydras mixed in there, the Roaches just simply aren't going to be enough. Now, you asked if Idra overcommitted to that. Uh, he certainly... Um, 
You know, he, he certainly gave it a great college try, but he did take down that third. And I, I just wonder how much that's actually going to have an effect on the game. Here we see another drop loading up here for Idra, and he's really, really trying a different style of, uh, of this aggressive, aggressive drop play against this Protoss MC. And look at this. Two macro hatches in the main. Two with the expansion. Idra has so much larva capability. He can easily get remaxed. He is known for keeping his money low and is committing to it even harder in this match. Now advancing forward in a small skirmish, corrupting everything. Now just trying to keep that Colossus count low. Idra is intending to lose this battle and just eliminate the Colossi while doing a big drop in the main. Can MC defend in time? Idra is absolutely everywhere in these matches. And he is going to load those roaches back up, but I think he's going to lose both of those overlords, and he will minimal damage inside the main. I think he wanted that to do a little bit more. Now, MC has responded to the third going down, and maybe the state, knowing that his opponent has a fifth base, he sees that with an observer, and he's thrown down a nexus at the gold. But look at this. Idra coming in yet again. He's going to go ahead and take this out. He's immediately going to go in for it, and uh, this will start another battle and non-stop base and army trading action going on. OGS MC is going to lose this Colossus. He has just stalkers left to defend himself, but Idra overwhelming everything, playing absolutely brilliantly. OGS MC trying to warp in more stalkers, trying to get into a good spot. Can his Blink Micro save him for just a little while longer? Roaches, Lynx, Hydra swarming the front. Idra with incredible upgrades as well. 2-1 on the Roaches, MC stuck in a corner trying to blink back, Templar Archives finishing up, MC is looking so low on units, it's a max third to a 100 food Protoss, even with Micro, as good as OGS MC, I don't know, know if it'll be enough, We Yeah, and we're going to uh, have another Colossus popping out here, but I don't think it is going to be enough, the numbers are dwindling here for Idra, but he's already pushed his opponent up to the base, he's going to have to back off, he's got a lot more coming down, however, with a stream of Lings, Hydras, and Roaches. It looks like actually mostly Hydras, so if he could take care of the one Colossus that's coming out here, this is actually looking to be very much in the favor of Idra. He's moving forward now, and once again trapping MC into the corner, and these Corruptors, here come the oh! Whoa! The Kraken takes the win. Unbelievable, and look at Idra, he doesn't even care. I think Idra is surprised. Idra played a Zerg that I have never seen out of him. It looks like he has repaired all those leaks in his play that has been plaguing him for so long. You know, players have criticized Idra quite a bit because he has remarkable macro, incredible build orders at the start. But a lot of people would say, but you're only engaging in direct fights. You're very good at defending these pushes and potentially crushing them, but a lot of times you'd see players like Huck just wait until they were maxed and then move out, and there was not that much that Idra could do about it. No, and it was really good. We're going to take a quick break when we come back. Game number two of EG Idra versus OGS MC.